Publix grocery haul for the week. I believe I spent $130 for everything that you see here. Starting over here with the juices. These are actually by Minute Maid, Zero Sugar Lemonade as well as Pink Lemonade. If you haven't tried these out and you're missing lemonade or you know Pink Lemonade on keto, these are keto friendly drinks. Now I won't say that they're ideal for you if you're doing strict keto you guys because of the ingredients but the carb count on these are really good. So for a total of eight ounces, there are only two grams of carbs in it. So moving on to, I guess, dairy. I picked up some shaved Parmesan cheese, some Kerrygold butter, as well as some heavy whipping cream. These are all ingredients that can go for chicken Alfredo, any type of cream sauces that you'll use on keto. And of course, Kerrygold butter. I use this to cook a lot of my meats and saute vegetables. It adds flavor and then extra fat. So I also picked up a thing of the G Hughes Smokehouse Sugar Free Barbecue Sauce. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I've been wanting to pick some up just so I can have like some barbecue sauce on hand, maybe do some barbecue chicken in the oven. I'll let you all know how this tastes. I think I've read good reviews on it. I'm not sure. He has a few different flavors. He has like hickory, um, honey barbecue, and I believe an original one. It's a total of two grams of carbs for two tablespoons. So yeah, that's not bad at all. I also picked up some free range chicken broth, again, just to have on hand for any recipes that I have. Picked up some bacon bits for Caesar salads this week. Moving on to meat, I picked up a thing of Posca kielbasa sausage, breakfast sausage. I picked up some bacon. I used this in quite a few recipes on keto. This is the only cut of steak they had this week at Publix or today at Publix. It's the top sirloin steak, but it's thinly sliced. I like thinly sliced steaks whenever I do cook steaks. So I picked up a pack of chicken thighs. I'm going to make a chicken thigh recipe um, next week. I picked up a thing of chicken breast fillets. Neck bones for my collard greens. Some water. I picked up a pack of Essentia and then two little extra bottles on the side. Some spinach, romaine lettuce, and then collard greens there. I picked up two things of zucchini. These are becoming a favorite on keto for us, as well as two packs of radishes. I picked up one thing of cauliflower, two avocados, bell pepper, and some green onions. That's my grocery haul for the week. Hey you guys, so it's a little bit later in the afternoon. I'm about to put on my greens for dinner tonight. I'm going to clean these and go ahead and fill this pot with water and let those cook down. To go along with the collard greens, I'm going to do some baked barbecue chicken. So I have my chicken wings thawing out in the sink. Hakeem also wants a, um, what does he want me to make? A cauliflower macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna make a cauliflower macaroni casserole type of dish. For the barbecue sauce, I think I showed y'all this in my haul, but it's only two grams of carbs for two tablespoons. Okay, you guys, so my greens have boiled down somewhat. So I'm going to go ahead and start to season them up just a little bit. So I've added in some pink Himalayan salt. Um, I've also added in a little bit of white vinegar and then some jalapeno peppers as well as some juice from the jalapeno pepper. And this just adds like a spice, a bite to the collard greens. It tastes so good. It basically like amps it up. So this is my first part of seasoning them. I like to let it boil down some more then come back and season it just depending on how much water is left in the pot. So I don't season all at once. 